the Tobacco Valley, Binales Valley. The Binales Valley in northwestern Cuba is surrounded by a range of uniquely shaped mountains, forming a typical karst landform. Locals fondly call these mountains ice cream mountains for their shape. The combination of a unique landscape and centuries of traditional tobacco farming have made this place a World Heritage Site. For this reason, people keep to the traditional way of farming here. First, the field is coarsely ploughed using an arado, which means a plough. Then the surface of the field is smoothed using a different implement. This tool is known as a peña and is used for harrowing. Lastly, a hard wooden plough made of oak is used to furrow. This kind of wooden plough is known as an arado criollo. This one has been carefully used for over 10 years. Careful ploughing of the soil means that the ground still contains a variety of organic matter and rich nutrients. The seedlings are planted in the furrow between the ridges. The ditches are perfect depth for the seedlings, neither too deep nor too shallow. The best quality tobacco is grown through this traditional method. There are some other interesting spots in this area. Caves like this one can be found throughout the Binales Valley. This karst landscape is mostly made of limestone, which is easily eroded by water. Natural erosion creates interesting landforms like this. Indigenous peoples once resided in these caves. When the Spaniards arrived, they brought slaves from Africa to work on their farms. The caves were also used as a hideaway by runaway slaves. With its unique landscape and culture, the Binales Valley is becoming a popular tourist destination and attracting people from all over the world. <laughs>